So if you've turned the page, first of all, how freaking adorable was my cat? He's the cutest little fluff ball ever. But now, I'll just put a picture in of what he looks like now. I don't know what happened either. That's okay. So, my beloved cat, Leo, that's really his name, Leo the Lion, he fell into a well this summer. Didn't actually happen, just for math purposes. I was able to rescue him by lowering a basket at a rate of negative two feet per second. He was trapped down there for 10 minutes, equivalently 600 seconds. We want to determine how deep the well was. So whenever we have a relationship between a distance, a rate, and a time, we use that dirt formula. Distance equals rate times time. We'll work with it more later um, in this class, but for now, just introducing it. There's a relationship between distance, rate, and time. So what are we trying to determine? How deep the well was. So we're solving for what part of that formula? Distance. I know the rate, how fast was I lowering the basket? Negative two feet per second. And how long was he down there for? 10 minutes or 600 seconds? So, which, uh, which kind of unit do I want to work with? Which conversion do I want to use? Any of my common units that I have right now, I also want to include for my time. So I want to use 600 seconds because same thing divided by the same thing, it's going to be gone. And we're talking about a distance. And what's our units that's left? Feet make sense. So how deep was the well? Negative 1,200 feet. So 1,200 feet below the ground. And I was like, that sounds outrageous when I just made up the example. There are wells that are that deep, not usually in your backyard, but hey, it works. And you got to see my cute cat. I mean, come on. Okay, one for you. It's summer and your ice cream is melting. Just pretend, even though it's cold. The ice cream's temperature is increasing at a rate of 3 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Ice cream is solid, yet scoopable, at 6 degrees. Will your ice cream reach above freezing temperatures after 10 minutes? You better get licking. So this problem setup is a little bit different than that. You kind of had to problem solve a bit. So what are the pieces of information that we know? The ice cream is melting at a rate of 3 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. So I know R is equivalent to that. What else are we given? Our initial temperature, initial temp is six degrees. Because it was solid, it was scooped, and you're eating it and enjoying it. And we're looking after 10 minutes, what temperature are we gonna be at? So this is where we've started, and I wanna figure out how much is the temperature going to increase between now and 10 minutes later? So after 10 minutes, temperature will have raised how much? Okay, so I have 10 minutes that I'm looking at. And for every minute, it is increasing by 3 degrees. So I need to multiply that by 3 degrees Fahrenheit per minute, the rate that it's increasing. Minutes, minutes are going to be on. And it's increased by 30 degrees. So initially, I was at 6. 10 minutes later, I've gained 30 more degrees. So after 10 minutes, what is the temperature of my ice cream? So the temp of ice cream is 36 degrees Fahrenheit. After 10 minutes, all right, so is it above freezing? You gotta lick a whole lot faster? Yeah, by four degrees. Freezing is 32. Awesome job, guys. 